Welcome to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm your host, Gino T, and this is Tuesday's edition for those of you keeping score at home. First, before I get started, I'd like to thank my good friends at LewDogs.com, my friends and sponsors at LewDogs.com. Go to LewDogs.com today to see some of the greatest handicappers on the greatest handicapping site out there. Read some of their blogs. Check out their free rolls. It's free. Sign up today at LewDogs.com. Now, what's burning my ass? Let me tell you what's burning my ass. This entire thing about Bounty Gate. Who really cares? You know, one of the things they got to realize, and Greg Williams needs to know this, he worked under Buddy Ryan. He saw what happened years ago. Back in the day when Buddy Ryan was the coach of the Eagles and they put bounties up for the Cowboys when they played them. Yeah, it was a different time. It was a different age, and things were a lot different back then, period. Now in this day and age with the NFL, with all the fines and the concussions and the seriousness of injuries that are coming possibly could take the game away from us as enter for entertainment and from the public, why would you make something like that celebrated? Why would you put something out there? Also... Whoever snitched or came out and said something about this, why would you do it? Why? You ruin the integrity of the game. If it happened, you know what? It's a bad thing. It should have never happened to begin with. I'm not condoning it. But at the same time, you know what? Maybe let it go away. Maybe let something like this be fined and taken care of by the NFL. If you're going to come out and talk about it, put a name to it. Say who you are, okay? It's like Snooki being pregnant. Who cares who did it, and who cares that she's pregnant? For Christ's sakes, I thought that fucking beach ball was pregnant since the first episode that I ever saw, that the whole thing when she first came out. But again, who cares? No one. But you know who does care about the NFL? The fans. And who cares about concussions and things like that? Roger Goodell. And why? Because he's trying to protect the longevity of the game. And obviously, when things like that happen, it could detriment the game and cause problems. And we don't want that to happen, and it shouldn't happen. We want to see our players safe every week. We want to see them, all right, yeah, we want to see the hits, and we want to see action, but we want to see them get up and walk away so they can play again, especially with fantasy players. You know what I'm talking about out there. Now, let's get to the games, the things that you came here for, the spreads, why we are 11-4, and four, our last 15 out ATS, yes, against the spread. We've been kicking ass and taking names. And guess what? You've been taking money from your book because of it. We went on a great stretch. We were 6-1 and one over in the All-Star break into this week. I've been killing it this week with the Utah Jazz last night. Yes, the friggin' Jazz for all you Jazz haters. They covered last night. Portland covered last night. I'm going to give you three winners today. Three winners tonight, starting with the Lakers. Yes, the Lakers. They're going to play Detroit. Detroit is an awful team. They're horrible defensively, offensively, and everything else. The Lakers are starting to pick up some steam. Kobe, yes, he has his face smart. He's the masked mamba. But guess what? He's out there. He's scoring, and they got things going, and they're going to beat up a team tonight in Detroit that they're only laying five and a half. Look for them to win this game into double digits. Take the Lake Show tonight all the way to Detroit, Rock City, and bring in the cash. Go nuts on the game. Uh, Orlando, our second game. Orlando at Charlotte. Charlotte is but awful. Charlotte is horrible, and Orlando knows it. Orlando may know a little too much. Sometimes these games can be traps. Um, they're giving 10 points up to Charlotte. I'm not looking at the 10 points. I'm looking at the fact that there's going to be no defense in this game played at all. The total is 187.5. Look for this game to go well over 187.5 into the 200 zone. Yes, because Orlando is going to do damage all over the boards. They're going to be cleaning things up. It's going to be garbage day there, and they will get tons of points. You will see outside shots by Turkoglu. You will see inside dunks by Dwight Howard. What you won't see is a lot of defense from the Bobcats. They will put up their points. They will score. Orlando isn't that great at defense either. Look for this to be a high-scoring affair. Take the over 187.5 in the Orlando game. My last game of the night that I'm going to give you, and it's not the last game of the night, but it's the last game I'm giving you. It's the third winner. The New York Knicks are at Dallas. Yes, they're at Dallas. And look for that team to go in there with a strong head on their shoulders. Look for Jeremy Lin to come out because Jason Kidd, let's put it this way, he's a little too old, a little too long in the tooth to cause any kind of real problem for Lin. Lin is going to be able to do his work in there. Look for Tyson Chandler to make his return to the Dallas Mavericks. And they might be cheering him because he helped tremendously to get that championship there. But he will be playing against a pretty big open empty center um, in Dallas tonight because I think Hayward's going to be most likely out for this game. Um, look for Dirk to get his points and score. But look for the Knicks to really lock up on these guys, play some defense out in Dallas. Look for them to get the two points and win this game outright. They're not going to need the two points. Look for Carmelo and Amari to light it up tonight. 
take the next, take the two, take it to the book, and take it to the bank. And as always, until tomorrow, you take it easy.